here's how food waste can generate clean energy. With the world's population predicted to rise by 2050, food waste is becoming a bigger issue. This will result in a rise in world food demand. These primary crops will require considerable amounts of water to produce in order to supply the growing worldwide demand for vegetables, fruits, and cereals. The agricultural business will certainly produce more trash as a result of this. In Canada, 60% of our food waste, more than 35 million tons per year, is anticipated to wind up in landfills. Unfortunately, many Canadian cities have run out of room to store it. Food waste is bad for the environment, not to mention your wallet. It not only emits greenhouse gases, but it also emits foul scents that attract bugs. Not to mention the risk that food waste fluid could end up in our water supplies. Those who live near landfills face a health risk. They also take up more area each year, which means they are getting closer to our homes. Researchers like myself are researching innovative technologies that transform food waste into clean energy in order to address the rising problem of food waste disposal. My research group and I are looking into biomass gasification, which is the process of converting organic materials into fuel gases. Biomass gasification. Biomass gasification takes off the top layers of food and agricultural waste or other biological materials and burns them in a biomass power plant. The resulting mixture, composed of mostly natural gases, can be used to fuel a range of energy efficient equipment, such as stoves for cooking and heating. Biomass gasification happens in places where there are high concentrations of biomass that would otherwise go to waste. It uses processes like steam, oxygen, and heat to convert biomass into fuel gases. The process of biomass gasification begins with a unit known as a digester. It resembles a large cooking pot and is separated into two sections. The biomass, such as food waste, is deposited on the upper side, while the lower side contains a heated, bubbling liquid that turns it into fuel gas. Food waste is converted into syngas, which is a mixture of hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, using this fluidization process. This is what can be utilized as a source of energy. Syngas can be utilized to produce both heat and electricity. Because it is carbon neutral, it is considered sustainable. Solar panels are a terrific method to save money on electricity while also being environmentally friendly. They are a cost-effective and environmentally friendly alternative for towns to reduce the quantity of rubbish sent to landfills. This is particularly critical in places where budget constraints make proper trash treatment challenging. Replacing fossil fuels. The environmental problem has emerged from the consumption of fossil fuels and their derivatives, primarily because greenhouse gas emissions are causing climate change. As governments throughout the world implement measures to minimize greenhouse gas emissions, renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and the combustion of agricultural or food waste can be used to replace coal and natural gas. Syngas is a fossil fuel that differs from natural gas due to its increased carbon monoxide and hydrogen content. These gases can be used to make high-value compounds like methanol and ammonia. Biocar is produced by biomass gasification, making your soil more fertile. Gasification converts waste into enough gas to power a large portion of your home. Various forms of biomass power generation have varying levels of relative efficiency, but all can provide renewable energy. The Atikokan Power Station in Canada, for example, recently produced 205 megawatts of clean electricity, enough to power nearly 70,000 homes. Global Projects The United States, Brazil, Italy, and Denmark are leading the way in building cost-effective biomass gasification plants using renewable sources. They're also looking into food waste as a way to supplement domestic production. There are a few enterprises in Canada that provide energy and bio-based compounds from municipal trash. In this case, biomass is used to generate 1.4% of the country's electricity. Many people in Costa Rica are enthused about the prospect of producing energy and heat from their coffee trash. Another example is Costa Rica. Costa Rica generates a substantial amount of agricultural waste from coffee production as one of the top 20 coffee producers in the world, and its disposal poses serious environmental issues. Biomass gasification technologies are currently being used to turn coffee pulp into heat and power. Small and marginal towns could potentially benefit from biomass gasification technology by minimizing the quantity of food waste that ends up in landfills, creating their own energy, and lowering their utility costs dramatically. A sustainable and circular economy. Biomass gasification is a long-term technological process for converting food waste into a marketable product. It's a first step toward a zero-waste circular economy. To promote long-term programs, politicians and governments must provide financial aid, subsidies, and tax incentives. People and corporations may be encouraged to invest in and commercialize biomass gasification technologies as a result of these efforts. Cities and communities are one step closer to a world without food waste thanks to biomass gasification. It also supports in the transition to a more sustainable and circular economy by meeting energy demands and replacing fossil fuels.